Hello everybody, this is Danny back from Deep South Homestead. Guys, as you all know with the crisis that we're facing in the world today, we are at a high risk right now of the possibility of an EMP strike from another country. And I am working with a, with a company right now um, called EMP Shield with three different particular products. One for 12 volt systems, one for off grid systems for like solar systems, and then one for your AC systems in your home because all three are vulnerable. And here at my homestead, I'm only interested in protecting what we have at interest here. Uh, now, an EMP comes in three phases there's EMP 1, 2, and 3. They're all, I'm not going to go into in depth about that, but there's three different phases of an EMP when you get hit by one. And the EMP Shield products that I'm showing here today, I've set with the company and I've talked with them. Uh, with, I've talked with the vice president and uh, two other people in the co company. And uh, they've told me all about the rigorous uh, things that this right here, this EMP protector has been through. They have assured me that it has been through the same testing that the military test is theirs with and even doubled what the military does, and it still has withstood 40 hits and not burn it up. But now, the ones for the house is totally different. We'll talk about that when I install the ones for the house on the AC one. But this is a DC system. Now, I'm going to be installing one on our vehicles because if we're out on the road and something happens, like an EMP, I want to be able to get home. This right here is my Kubota tractor. The other thing I, Wanda and I talked about was should an EMP happen, I don't have enough fuel to run forever. I mean, I understand that. I'm not stupid. But I have enough fuel to get me by. If I'm very frugal with it, I could make it for a while. And after talking with Wanda about it, I said, you know what? Let's EMP proof the Kubota because... This is the one tractor that we use to do everything around the farm here with. Now we have the Cub Farmall, but the Cub Farmall is a six volt uh, negative, uh, positive ground system. I haven't talked with the company yet and gotten any kind of information with, from them about a system to protect the, cu the Cub with. So I'm gonna stick with the 12 volt Kubota right now. It's a very simple, set up to hook this up a miner could do this a kid could do this i mean there's there's no reason why a person on a 12 volt system like a tractor could not do this now i'm fixing to show you how i've got it hooked up now understand this kubota was a compact tractor when they said compact they stuck stuff in here in a tight place i mean guys there is there is no extra room on this tractor anywhere for anything I mean, I've had to improvise this thing here like crazy, and I'm just hoping and praying that it'll hold up, because if it don't, I'm going to have to build a special bracket to mount it on. So let's look at where I've got it at now. Okay, guys, <laughs> this is the bracket here, that the DMP thing, the shield. Now, it has a sticky on the back of it back here that's Velcroed onto it. Right here on this piece on the battery box here is the only thing I could find to put that sticky on to make this thing fasten down, and it's stuck. It's stuck good, but you know, tractors vibrate a lot, so I'm gonna have to kind of keep an eye on it. But that's the only place on this tractor I could find to put this thing. There is no room around the motor, nowhere that has a place where it just doesn't get too hot. So what I've done is I got this mounted here. Now there's only basically three wires on this. There is a red, a black, and a green. The red one, goes to the positive side of the battery right here. I have it mounted on the positive side of the terminal right there, right underneath that. Very simple to do. Only thing you have to do when you do this is make sure you undo the negative so you don't cause a spark here. The positive side has a 20 amp fuse in it, just like any 12 volt system would have to protect it in case something happens. It protects everything here to blow the fuse. Now the black wire is the negative. It runs over to the negative side of the battery post right here where I've got it mounted right there. The only wire left is a green wire, which is right here. 
and I have it ran through this casing stuff. It comes out, and the only place I could find to put this thing was underneath the little radiator reservoir here. Right here, underneath the water reservoir, where the antifreeze and all is kept in it at, is the only place on this tractor I could find with a bolt where I could get to it to mount this thing. So I had to take all this off to put that on there. I had to do some improvising, but we've got that done. As you'll notice, there's, there's several feet of wire right here. Now, you don't want to mount that ground more than four foot from 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 your battery here or anything like that it needs to be four foot or less i went and purchased a three quarter inch flexible conduit and put the wire all inside of it i zip tied it up real nicely here because tractors vibrate a lot and there's a lot of debris and everything gets up under here so i kind of protected them i didn't want to cut the wires and shorten them up because who knows in the event something happens in the future and I need to get rid of this tractor, I want to be able to take this off and mount it on another tractor if I get the opportunity. So this is the way I have it mounted on my Kubota uh, right here. It's the only way I could find to really do it to where it would work like it's supposed to. Now, I know you can't see it because it's daylight out here, but that little green light right there comes on up under there. When it gets dark, that little light burns all the time. It's just like a little LED light not going to run the battery down so you don't have to worry about that in the description down below i'm going to have a link to these 12 volt uh, emp shields here and in it there's going to be a promo code you can use that promo code to purchase these you get i believe they the company i'm working on a deal to get like 50 dollars off on these things if you can uh uh is, is what i believe we're at at this point with the company and I, that's a big savings on one of these. And if a lot of people's going to go, oh my word, those things are so expensive. Well, guys, let me tell you something. Can you really put a price on not being able to do anything should an EMP happen? If an EMP happens and everybody else is down and yours is running, what these cost won't matter to you at that point because you'll still be able to survive. Guys, one of the ways that Wanda and I is looking at this, just being honest with you, it could mean the survival of your family. It could mean the survival of your community. You may be the only person in your whole community that has a tractor that will still run. And it, perhaps other people in the community have fuel. And they're willing to share their fuel with you if you will come and do something for them with your tractor. I mean, guys, let's, look, let's just face it. Should this happen in our nation, and it's looking like there's a good possibility that it might happen in the future, I would whole lots rather see the homesteading community, people that are country people that have equipment, be the ones to help get this nation back up and running again should something like this happen, rather than all the elites having to say about everything. Now, there's going to be some naysayers. I know that's going to go, well, how do you know this works? I don't know personally if it's going to work but i know this if an emp happens and it don't work i hadn't lost anything i'm in the same boat you're in but if it does work i'm leagues ahead of all the other people out there so i encourage you check this out if you've got a vehicle or a tractor and you would like to have one of these for them check out the description down below guys and see about using the promo code get you one and guys get it hooked up quick because we don't know when this might happen thank you guys from deep south homestead <laughs>